Hello, Malaika, and welcome to Bible class. Do you know what time it is? Yes, it's Bible class time. Come, let's sing. Tick tock, says the clock. We glad that you are here. Tick tock, says the clock. God is very near. Tick tock. Says the clock, it's time for Bible class. Tick tock, says the clock, to love and learn and love. Yay, Malika! Don't you love Bible class time? I love Bible class time too. Well, Malika, I hope I am not the only one, with you of course, who's here to Bible class today. Should we have a look who else is here? Yes, let's have a look. Let's have a look. It's you. Welcome to Bible class. So excited to have you join us today. Well, today at Bible class, we are going to learn about famous people that had faith like no other. We're going to learn all about these people through the, do you know what, Malaika? The Bible, yes! What does that remind you of? You don't know? Come on, you do know. Okay, tell me, tell me. Yes, Malaika, our Bible word song. Are you ready to sing? Are you ready to sing? Should we sing? Let's go. Bible words, Bible words. Thank you, God, for Bible words. It's the truth for all to read. Thank you, God, for Bible words. Yay! Our Bible word song is my favorite song. <laughs> well, now... Boys and girls, and you, Malaika, should we go listen to a story from the Bible? Let's go listen. Hey guys, welcome back to Kids Church, and we are still doing the Faith Awards. Do you know who you want to win? Have you cast your vote in yet? Well, if you haven't yet, uh, we're going to look at a very, very interesting guy. So today, we're going to speak about a guy called Jehoshaphat. We could just call him King J. And Jehoshaphat was a king. Yeah, he was a king. He had a crown and everything, a nice robe. But one day, Jehoshaphat had three other kings come to fight against him. Have you ever had three of your friends fight you or try to fight you? And did you feel scared when that happened? I've had that happen before. It was pretty scary. So what did Jehoshaphat do? Well, this is what the Bible says, that Jehoshaphat and everybody, all his friends, family, and everybody in his community, they went on their knees and decided to worship God. They actually just started worshiping God, singing and praising and praying. And the Bible says that God helped them that the three kings who wanted to fight them ended up fighting against each other. And that way, Jehoshaphat was saved and God protected him. So Jehoshaphat showed his faith by worshiping God. And I want to challenge you guys, next time you feel afraid, maybe next time if somebody wants to fight against you or, or you're scared, you should ask your parents, to play some worship for you, and you should worship God. And then remember that God will save you. So King Jehoshaphat showed his faith by worshiping God. You and I can also show our faith by worshiping God. That's great. You've got it. Until next time, have yourselves a lovely afternoon. Goodbye. Actually, I, I'm going to go get myself a guitar and some drums and... Yeah, so I can worship. Okay, bye. Wow, Malaika. Didn't you just love learning about Jehoshaphat? 
Yes, Jehoshaphat showed his faith by worshiping God. And do you know how we worship God? What instruments do we use? Do you know? Okay, tell me. Okay, well done. Malika says that we use a guitar, a piano, drums, and even our hands. Well done, Malika. And back in the days before your mommies were born or your grannies and your great, great grannies were born during Bible times, they used to use harps and tambourines and they used to sing songs to God. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool Malika? I think it's cool too. Well boys and girls, don't forget that you can worship God using drums or pianos, guitars and even your hands and your voice to sing songs to God. <laughs> Bye boys and girls, see you next week.